let's count it down together. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's right. Hey, yes, make some noise if you're excited for Kids World FX tonight. Woo! Wow. Wow, I am so glad that each and every one of you came out tonight. We're gonna have an absolute blast. Uh, if you haven't been to an FX before, let me tell you, this is different from just about any other service that you can see. We are gonna have an absolute blast tonight. It is gonna be so much fun. You are in for a real treat. I do have to tell you, we love having kids here at New Spring Church, and it might get a little loud, it might get a little crazy, but if your kid or you know your husband has a meltdown, our TVs are on in the foyer, so you can still uh, catch the program there too. But uh, we're gonna have so much fun. If I haven't got the privilege of meeting you yet, my name is Cody Page and I get to lead our 252 Theater Environment, uh, which is our one of our elementary environments. And we also have Studio 45 for preteen students as well. And what we love to talk about in Kids World, we love to talk about big... Yes, wow, you guys are already a pro at that. But whenever we say big, you say idea. Let's try that again, big... Well done. And a big idea is something God wants to do in you to change the world around you. It's part of God's character. It's part of who God is. Things like honesty and courage and respect. But today, I get the privilege of revealing to you the big idea that we're going to be talking about all for the month of April in 282 Theater and in Studio 45. So drum roll on your legs. Let's reveal this together. Three, two, one. Everybody say humility. That's right. Repeat this after me. Putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Yes, this big idea is so huge. And we're going to be talking about how we can put others first in a world that loves to put the spotlight on ourselves and, and make a big deal out of... Please what? sit back for the world's greatest entertainment, super special, one of a kind, most awesome event. Party, life of the party. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? It is RK, the life of the party. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow. Hi guys, how's it going? Oh, hi, Mr. Cody. Hey, how's Artie. It going? What a surprise. I, I know, I know. I'm really excited to be here. Yes. I'm here to accept my award. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to Wait. Artie's Award Show. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, this is Art great. It's going to be a great night, everybody. Hold on. Oh, it's um, going to be great. Artie. Yes. Did, did you say that you're here to accept your award? Yeah, I was saying hi to all these people because they're here at my award show. Don't be rude, no, Mr. Cody. Say no. hello. Oh, oh. Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. Artie. There's uh, a lot of people here. Yeah. Look at all the guys in the audience. What's going on, bro? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. All right. Hey, you only said hi to all half the, the audience. I'm sorry. Yep, there's you only said the, hi to the boys out there. Why don't you say hi to all the girls, All the ladies too? in the audience. Hello, ladies. Yeah. All right. Okay. And Artie, this... this oh, I, that's nice. That's yeah. cool. Okay, Ar Artie, this is Kids World FX. Check yeah. out all the parents and grandparents that are in the room, yes, too. Yes, the parents and grandparents. Hello, old people. Artie, okay. <laughs> Artie. Hello. Artie, that's kind of embarrassing. My mom is out there, okay? Well, I know. I have to speak up because they're old. Okay. Artie. Okay. Are you done? Yes. Okay. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry that you're old. No. Artie. Artie. You, uh, oh, you need to apologize. But they're all excited the right way. because they're here for my award show, Mr. Cody. No, so Artie. let's bring out my award. No. Okay. Artie, why do you think that you're getting an award? Oh, Cody. Oh, don't be silly. You're probably just not important enough for people to tell you what's oh. going on. Okay. I'm the special guest for today, so I'm coming out here to get my award. It's time to celebrate me! What? Oh, yeah, okay. it's a no. celebration! Are, whoa! <laughs> what is that? Okay. That's All right. right. That's fun. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for celebrating me. We got That's the so disco ball. That's all. Can we cut the music? Um, <laughs> Listen, hey, why'd you cut my music? Artie, I thought I was supposed to be getting an award. Artie, this, this is Kids World FX. This isn't your award show. Why do you think that you're getting an award? Oh, Cody, sometimes you're so naive. Okay. I was backstage earlier, and I just so happened to see this really cool-looking, awesome, super cool box. It looked like it had a prize or something in it, some kind uh -huh. of gift. And on top was a simple note reading to someone special. Need I say more? Yeah, so hold on. Let me get this right. You just saw a box that said to someone special, uh -huh. and you assumed that was 
you. I mean, obviously, who else could it be? Well, Mr. Cody, don't get that bike started without me. I'm on my way. Oh, I'm coming. No. I'm coming. It's Gordo. I'm here. Hey. I'm here. Hi. Hey, everybody. Uh, hey there, Gordo. Hey, hey, Gordo, resident genius at your service. I figured yes. you guys wouldn't want to get FX started without, you know, someone special. You know, the, me, the more course. the merit. Well, hey, yeah. everybody, if you haven't got to meet him yet, this is Gordo. He's one of our Kids Roll gang, so he hangs out in Kids Roll with us. Cody, please, you're going to embarrass me. I mean, next thing I know, you're going to be telling them that I'm a certified Minsa member, huh? Or holder of over 252 unique patents for incredible inventions. Or, or the only 12-year-old you know with a beard. Yeah, that is, that is pretty impressive. You're going to have to talk yeah. to me about how you grow. Anyway, that's the last cause. I, that's not the point. Um, I see that you saw the box, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured, you know, the FX crowd would want to watch me open it. You, what? you saw the note, right? To someone special. Uh, yes, me. That's me. What are you talking about? That's not you. That what? box is obviously for me. What? Okay. You're a monkey. Okay. Uh, guys. I deserve that box. Guys, listen. Okay. Th this box mm -hmm. is actually for somebody very special. And uh, I'll tell Mr. Dan will come out later. He'll tell you guys what this is for. Okay. But yeah, you don't need to argue me. over that. Uh, Already, already, the box is not just for you, okay? Yeah, of course it's for me, Mitch. I mean, well, come on, but come on. Oh, what are we talking about this month? Are we talking about how awesome people yes. are? Are we talking about gratitude, Mr. No. Cody? That's probably the big idea. No, Someone should be grateful for how awesome this month is. We are talking about the big idea of humility, which is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Wow. So right. you think, you know, you should, you know... Do you have anything that you'd like to say to each other now? I sure do. Yeah. You should be yeah. way more humble, Gordon. You should be humble. You're hum no. I'm way more no. humble than you. Boys. Right. Boys. I'm the Boys. most humble person here. Boys. Okay. Right. Pay attention. Listen, okay? You're not setting a very good example of what humility is right Listen, now. Listen, okay? I understand what you're saying. All these I, people probably should be humble, but I am very special. I'm the person that makes everybody laugh. Here, oh. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Lights, please. Oh. <clears throat> hey, did uh, anybody ever uh, tell you about the... The restaurant they started in space? Yeah, it turns out the food's great, but there's no atmosphere. <laughs> really? That was a science uh, oh, But joke. seriously, how about that yeah. pony who got kicked off American Idol? Yeah, she couldn't sing because she was a little horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry for all the corny dad jokes. I don't even have kids. I guess that makes me a... Uh, Faux pas. <laughs> okay, already, okay. already. I think that's enough. Okay? I agree. I agree. I mean, who needs humor anyway when you've yeah. got brains? Huh? Obviously, that makes me more special to FX. I mean, well, just take a look at some of the inventions I concocted just this morning. Well, while you guys we were really... still snoring in bed, I was hard at work with genius. Huh? Check out this drill attachment, right? Uh -huh. I know what you're thinking. What could that possibly be for? Well, that's let me tell exactly you. You thinking. know how when you're eating ice cream. Right? You have ice cream Every in your time when you do it, you gotta constantly turn the cone, right? Well, that's annoying, right? This bad boy takes care of that problem once and for all. You simply insert it like this and watch. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Here we go. Yep. See, that's pointless. Nobody wants that. Yeah. It's not they pointless. Just Gordo. Out. Listen, okay. what people need, oh, they don't need geniuses, they no. need laughter, right. they need no. fun, yes. they need Listen, entertainment, Artie. and that's me. Artie. Start the music, I'm the voice of the party. No. Okay. Check out my funny costume. How did you it's do awesome. that? Check out my funny gift. Oh, I love mixed nuts. Ah, wow. yeah, okay. And that's really? not all. Oh. Hey, wow. Hey, hey. Okay, Artie. Isn't that great? That's really something. Listen, um, can we cut the music? Yeah. Hey. Artie, okay. Hey, why don't you change out of the costume? Listen, guys, I, you're, you really need to stop competing with each other, thinking that each of you is more special than the other. Listen, Mr. Dan is going to come out later. He's going to set the record straight for this box. But for now, Artie, I need you to go get uh, your mop and your broom and all that, and I need you to pick up this huge mess out here. Okay, fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll go get them to clean this up. But okay. listen, don't... Don't let Gordo convince you that box is for him, okay? He's not to be trusted. Okay. Yeah. Hey, All Justin, right. Cody said you need to clean up this mess, okay? Poor naive no, That's monkey. not Artie. What? Oh, bro. Well, yeah, he'll, I'm yeah. sure that he'll pick that up. You know, so, he, he lacks substance, but at least I bring intelligence and sophistication, huh? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate yeah. how each of you have your own unique uh, brand of talents that you bring to yeah. Kids World. But listen, Gordo, in Kids World for the next month, yeah. we're talking about humility. Right. We're talking about incredible stories about how Jesus put us first. 
We're talking about how he washed his disciples' feet, wow. how he uh, cared for his disciples and answered their questions when they didn't understand, how he died yeah. on the cross, and yeah. even how when his disciples messed up, that he would restore them. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's really impactful. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I could demonstrate an experiment, huh? To kind of yeah. go along with some of the stories. Well, you know, since I'm so special. actually totally no, out of no, time. No, 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 so bring out the experiment no. table. Oh, oh no, okay. I got the perfect one, huh? <laughs> How about elephant toothpaste, right? That reminds uh, me of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah, oh. I'll tell you why. Okay, listen, look, okay, look. This okay. is perfect, right? Gordo, so, Gordo. inside this bottle, right? Uh, I've got hydrogen peroxide and dish soap, right? Very important for washing feet. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, and then wait, inside what? these guys, <laughs> right, I've got what's called a catalyst, right? Uh-huh. There's a little bit of yeast, yeah. which might be growing on your feet, right? Okay. But, it's okay. not. Look, all you gotta do, you oh, combine right. the two and the, the catalyst will release all the extra oxygen inside the hydrogen peroxide, which yes. gets caught up in all the soap bubbles, which then creates one giant foamy surprise, huh? Well, you guys wanna see the experiment? Great. Gordo, Gordo, we yeah, don't have time. They want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Um, Come on, yeah, okay. 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 But Gordo, can we make it quick? Yeah, okay. okay. But you got to so do it with what me. Do we okay, do? okay, okay. Just take, just take it and just uh-huh. pour it in. Okay, just okay. watch me. Okay, just like this. And here we go. And like this. And... Oh! Oh! oh. Whoa! Oh, oh! That was pretty cool. Wait well, a second. Well, it's more, you know... Why didn't... Why didn't mine work? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you did it wrong. Yeah, yeah just keep shaking on. it. Whoa! <laughs> I think it worked. No, the problem was this is expired. You're probably gonna wanna, you know, rinse out your, yeah. Should've been wearing safety goggles. That was, yeah. Oh, look, oh, I think. <laughs> now I'm alone with the box. <laughs> that could be, I don't know, tempting maybe. <laughs> Sitting there all by itself. Maybe I'll open it. Open it? You think it? No, maybe. No, 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 I won't do it, I won't do it. No, 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 no. I, no, I'll guard it. I'll guard it because I know the truth, right? I deserve whatever special prize is in that box or wasn't that special person. Of course, the problem is, Artie's probably gonna come up with some sort of crazy plan to try to, what? I know, he's sneaky. He's gonna do something crazy. The question is, what, what? I don't know how we're supposed to keep him away from it. I know he's crazy. Arnie, hi! See you later, Gordo. Arnie, get back here. You'll never stop me now. Never stop you, you're going like one mile an hour. Come on, of course I'm gonna catch you. You're not gonna make the corner. Okay, you see, oh, Arnie, dear mercy. I gotta keep an eye on you. Oh, goodness. Those kids world guys are always getting each other all riled up, aren't they? I love it, I love it. No, my name is JJ, and I want to say thank you all so much for being here. Can we make some noise if you're having a good time tonight? Yeah, you know, the truth is that we can all kind of struggle with humility, right? So putting others first, even if it means giving up what we think we deserve. One of the things that I've heard is a good way to make sure that we're staying humble is to make sure our priorities are in check, right? And that means first and foremost, we give God what he deserves. And it might be a little bit biased, but me and my friends here, one of the ways we love to do that, we love to lift our voice and sing and worship him. So would you stand with me right now as we sing a song that we know and love? And all the kids in the room, I want you to be extra loud, okay? This is for the lost and lonely For the broken and afraid
thank you so much, worship team, for leading us. That was an awesome song. You can go ahead and be seated. Well, um, after that experiment, thankfully I got a new microphone and I'm all cleaned up now, so that is awesome. But I thought it would be super fun to play a game. Who wants to play a game? Yes, that is so fun. At Kids World FX, we love to go all out with fun. And so we've got an awesome game that I like to play. I, here's what I need. I need a couple families that can help me out. Let's see, I see a dad and his son right there. Yeah, right there, you two, come on down. Yeah, if you guys would come up the stairs just over here on the other side there for me. Let's see, I need some people to represent the ladies over here. Let's see, yeah, uh, right there in the red shirt and right there in the gray shirt. Yeah, come on down. I'm gonna have you guys come around here. I love that you volunteer not even knowing what you're volunteering for. That's so exciting. The game is, we're gonna, I don't know. I was gonna say something ridiculous, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna have you guys come on over here. Can we give it up for our contestants? Yes, that is awesome. All right, uh, well, check it out, guys. I'm glad that you guys are here tonight. Now, uh, the game that we're gonna be playing today, uh, you may have heard of this lovely little game called Angry Birds. You guys ever heard of Angry Birds before? Yeah? Well, this is nothing like that, okay? Because this, because we're talking about the big idea of humility, which is uh, putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. So we will be playing Humble Birds! Ah, yeah. yeah, check it out, whoa! Yeah, so uh, these are not just regular birds, these are now humble birdies. They're not angry anymore. This is a perfect springtime game, isn't it? I love walking out here in the, the crows chirp and sing their beautiful song. It's amazing how God created them. Uh, but what you guys are going to be doing is you're going to be using this birdie launcher right here to launch these humble birds into the obstacles all the way across the stage. Now, here's what those over are over there. You see those green pigs? Those are the pride pigs. Pride pigs are the enemy because pride pigs are, you know, when you get prideful, you have to knock your pride down, right? So the way that you win this game, you're gonna have 60 seconds. Each team is gonna go one at a time. You're gonna have 60 seconds to knock down as many pride piggies as you possibly can. If you knock them all down, then we're gonna see how fast you did it. And the next team will have to go and knock them all down faster than that. Does that make sense? Now, uh, let's see who we've got playing. Today we have Kellen, Kellen and John. John. All right, give it up for Kellen and John. They're gonna be playing for all the boys in the room. Yeah. You hear all, everybody out there cheering you on? That is awesome. And here we have Samantha and Addison. They're playing for all the girls. Yeah. I should have mentioned you're I know I, I said this is to knock down the pride pigs, but this is to get bragging rights too, for the boys or for the girls, okay? So we're gonna be gentlemen. We're gonna let the ladies go first, okay? So ladies, come on down. Now, I'm gonna uh, show you guys a little hint, okay? Uh, Sam, if you wanna put your foot up there just like that, that's gonna help you out. Now, as you do this, one of you will want to hold the birds and load it while the other one shoots it. Now, when you do it, you wanna hold your hand there all the way until you let go. If you let go first, it's gonna do that, okay? So hold it the whole time. We'll give you guys one practice shot, and if you knock it down, then I'll do a little thing called stalling. No, I'm just kidding, it'll be amazing. So I'll give you one practice shot so you can see how it works. Get your bearings and get it loaded up. Yeah, work together there. Yep, you're gonna, you might go come around here on the other side. Yep, pull it back nice and hard now. Yep, you can come around on the other side right over there. Yep, now pull it back and let her rip. Yeah, just like that, but harder, faster, and better, okay? You got it. All right, are you guys ready to see the girls play? All right, if you're a girl in the audience, cheer them on. All right, our countdown starts. Ready, set, go! Come on, go, 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 go! Watch those birds, oh, a little bit to the right. Get your aim in, oh, wow, the iceberg came out of there nowhere. Oh, man, come on, go, 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 go! Oh, this is so epic! Right now, you're 15 seconds in. Oh, one pride piggy down. You got some knockdown. We're gonna start throwing some of those back this way. Yeah, come on, go, go, go. 38 seconds left. Oh, that's the old drop a -roo. Oh, come on. Oh, that's the ground hit right there. There we go. Oh, that was right into the structure. My goodness, that was amazing. Keep, oh, another pride pig has fallen. All right, 20 seconds left. Here's some more birds right over here for you. All right, oh, there comes Red. He's the humblest of birds. I don't actually know why, but it sounds awesome. All right, looks like there's two pigs left. Five, four, three, two, one, 
time is up. Give it up for all the ladies. They did an amazing job. Let's see. Three. There were only three pigs left standing. That is amazing. That means, boys, if the guys are going to win this game, you have to knock off more than three pigs that are up there. There can only be two remaining left for you to win the game. Now, as we're talking about humility, really uh, the reason and the place that we get humility is actually from the Bible. Jesus modeled this and demonstrated it for us. And every month in our elementary environments here at New Spring, we have a memory verse, a memory verse that we wanna commit to remembering because when we put God's word in our life, we will have a much better life. It'll change your life for that. So this month, our, 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 in the month of April, our memory verse is out of the book of Philippians. So everybody, help me out with a nice Kids World FX uh, warm voice here and repeat this after me. Don't do anything, Don't do anything. Only, to only to get ahead. We can just do a mic drop right there, couldn't we? I don't wanna break another one tonight though. Okay, uh, don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. Philippians 2, 3. That is awesome. Well, boys, are you ready for this challenge? Now, you guys saw how it worked. So Bird can go in the launcher. Uh, one of you will load it while the other one helps pull it back. If you put your foot there, it'll help keep it stable. I'll give you guys a practice shot so we can, let's maybe not use Big Red though, because you know, he's pretty crazy. So uh, we'll, we'll give you guys a practice shot, see if you can get your rhythm down, pull it back and let her rip. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, excellent, we threaded the needle right there. Okay, so 60 seconds on the clock. There has to be less than two on the stands for the boys to win. Who's gonna win, the boys or the girls? All right, on your marks, get set, go! Go, 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 come on, go, go, go. Oh man, we've launched them, check it out, there they go. Let her rip, oh, missed the king pig by a half an inch. Oh, oh, that was awesome, it was a good hit. A little more power, keep it going, keep it going, load him up, oh, right in the direct hit zone, come on, go, go. 38 seconds left on the clock. Don't take out our LED wall, that is awesome. Oh, oh, one is down, we got one down. That is amazing, oh, two are down, 26 seconds left. This could be anybody's game. It's anybody's game still. Right now, we are out of tie. Any more pigs and the boys will win the game. Can they do it? Oh, come on, keep them loading, keep them loading. There you go. Fill her up, come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Last pig, two, one. All right. That is amazing. Hey, give it up for our awesome contestants. You guys did the most wonderful job playing that game. Come on over here. We've got a prize for you guys. We ended up in the most wonderful tie. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be gentlemen. Gentlemen, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to let the late, to put others first. Yes. Let the ladies, you're gonna pick the prize for the ladies, which one they're gonna have, okay? So here we have an awesome uh, like basketball kit. It's a fun Easter basket. And this is the Easter bunny with the world's longest ears that you can have with chocolate. So what prize would you like to give to the ladies? Here you go. All right, here we go, ladies, here we go. You got the bunny with the longest ears in the world. That is so fun. Here's a gift card to the New Spring store. Thanks for playing. Here we go, gentlemen. There's one for you guys as well. Hey, they did such a great job. You guys can have a seat. Yeah, thank you guys so much. You can head right over there. All right, well, we love to have fun just like that every single weekend in Kids World, and we've got more fun coming your way. We've got an awesome, powerful story that we're gonna get to hear from the Bible. It's gonna be super awesome. Miss Debbie will be up here in just a minute, but right now I'd like to direct everybody's attentions to the screens for you to say, I'm watching. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. 
And now for an amazing story. Well, hello everyone. I'm Miss Debbie and I am, it's just great to see so many families here. I hope you guys are having a good time. Huh? Yes. We love to have fun when we talk about God's big ideas, and we have a great big idea coming up as we're getting ready for Easter. You've heard it already, but let's repeat it again. Will you repeat this after me? Humility. Humility. Putting others first, Putting others first. By, giving by giving up what you think you deserve. That's right, that is such a great big idea. And I've got a great story from the Bible that is a great example of that. I'm looking forward to telling it. But here's the thing about the story we're gonna look at tonight. It, it needs some historical context because things were a little bit different 2,000 years ago when this story took place. And some of the things that we're gonna talk about might not make... <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, it is I. It is I, yes, thank you. Please, please, you're too kind. Yes, it is I, Reginald Fastidious the Third, the world's greatest, thank you, one man Bible story Shakespearean reenactor and part-time golf ball diver and retriever at your local golf course. Yes, I've seen you there. You're always hitting them in the pond, yes. And I'm here to amaze thee on the stage thusly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, fans are everywhere, aren't they? Oh, I truly appreciate it, yes. I, what can I say? Thank you, yes, I'll get to you later. Yes, I said that, yes. Thank you, okay, yes, I said okay. I would get you later. She wants your attention. Just get out of here, okay, thank you. <sighs> At least you can do a stick around, Mom. <sighs> yes, where was I? Yes, Reginald. Reginald. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing here tonight? I, I'm I here to I help tell the story. I know, as but only I only I can. I know, but taking I really... you to the depths of despair. Yes. And back up again to the joyous. I heights. I know, but I really didn't expect you tonight. Why not? Well, because the big idea yes. that we're talking about. Yes. Let's see. How do I put this without hurting your feelings? Well. Humility is not really your area of expertise. <laughs> Pitch pass, yes, I understand. How could a bastion of masculine energy and attraction, as well as a fortress of amazing theatrical talent, ever be humble? But I have to tell you, I've really been working on it, and I have poured a lot of sweat into it for the entire, really, I've been working on it all day. And I have to say, I believe I'm the most humble person here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. okay, Reginald. Yes. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yes, so, and here's the other thing, really. Right. This story is about Jesus, and yes. we really don't usually have Shakespearean reenactors portray, portray Jesus. Jesus. Yes, of course, it's understandable, yes. But, I am trying to give some historical context, historical context to the that's story. My forte, to the play. Of yes, course. I have prepared you know, you have a, a stunning script that have I a, have entitled The Sweet Smell of Service. And I shall bring the historical context to life. People will forget they have phones in their pockets, okay? And you, my dear undertrained okay. hack of an actor, you shall simply read. Yes, literally. Yes, I do know okay. how to read. Yes, you shall read and I okay. to play, thusly. Okay, you. are you really sure? Uh, okay, well, let's see what he's oh, got I forgot, here. Oh, I forgot, forgot, hold on, not here. Actually, we'll do, you stand right there. Okay, yes, all right. Okay. Historical. Okay. okay, you're ready? Yes. Okay. To the play. He's ready. I'm not sure I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's, let's try this. So this is a story about Jesus and the time that he washed his disciples' feet. But before we can understand washing feet, we need to know what life was in, like in Bible times. So in the Gospels, we read about Jesus and his disciples doing a lot of traveling. Yes, we are traveling. We're traveling. Hello. I am the disciples. 
Watch as I travel! Ta da! Uh, sorry! Uh, oh, sorry! Uh, Backing uh, up! Backing up, yes! Huzzah! Okay. Historical! Uh, Reginald. Yes. I thought we were going to be historically accurate. I am historical accurate. Where is a car in the Bible? Yeah, well, first of all, the Hyundai Genesis, okay? <laughs> also, also in Acts, it says the disciples were all of one accord. It's a Honda. You see? Reginald, that's not, what, that's not what that means. They were all in agreement. What do you mean they were in they agreement? They were in a, and one accord is an agreement. Yes, okay, well, maybe no car. Sorry, we'll be back. Okay. Continue! Yes, oh, sorry, I will me, continue. Sorry, oh, oh. I'm okay! Reginald? Yes? Are you all right? Yes, I landed on my spleen. Oh, well that... To the plane, are you okay? okay. All right, if you think you're all right. Okay. So back in those days, there was a lot of traveling, but there were no cars or bikes or planes, so the people had to travel by foot. Many were barefoot, but at best, they might have worn sandals. Indeed. Hello, sir. I am the sappers, the footwear. Hello, sir. Mademoiselles and monsieurs. Well, Reginald, why are you French? Uh, hello. Uh, my name is uh, Felipe. Felipe, Felipe. <laughs> I believe, Where does I, I he believe come I up laid, with this? I believe I laid in some gum. Oh, no. The play, continue. Okay. I guess it's my turn. <laughs> now, imagine walking around on dirt roads, barefoot or in sandals all day, and add to that, back then there were lots of animals that were also on the roads. Moo! Historical! This wall is so long. Thank you, Reginald. I, I, I that I'm was very just nice. I'm lonely round. Oh, you have more. On the way to the temple. I okay. hope I enjoy the trip. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, thank Historical. you. We, yeah, I think we get the idea. Yes. So, yes. thank you so much. There were no cars, but indeed, what? there was a Mustang. Huzzah! Hilarious. Okay, sorry, one more. One but, more. Yes, Reginald, did. I think we get the idea. No, 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 no. I really got it. Okay, that's not. Oh. Reginald. I'm okay. I'm okay, it's just the eyes were a little high on this one. To the yes. play! <laughs> All right. Um, so, with that context in the back of our minds. Just Historical! <laughs> Just imagine the disciples with dirty feet after traveling to Jerusalem, all gathering for a very important dinner, the Passover meal. That's where our story takes place. Because of how dirty their feet must have been, it was a custom in those days to, um, that the most important person in the house, the host, would have prepared a way for the guest to have their feet cleaned when they arrived. So, uh, the same thing happened. Historical. Context. <laughs> the same thing happened in our story as you would expect. The disciples had gathered. Yes. Jesus, the guest of honor, was there, and yes. something amazing happened. Something that. Okay, you're bored, everybody. Back in those days. The host, the most important person, would sit down at the head of the table and making sure their robe was free from their feet, loudly declare, wash my feet! No, Reginald. Wash them! No, 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 that's not it. Yes. No. Did you not no. see the giraffe? I need to wash them. No, well, I understand that, but that was what was normal back in those days, but that's not what happened in our story. I, well, the, the most important would have the feet washed, and I need the least important. I thought the, that'd be the, you. The, it doesn't have to be you, okay? We can pick somebody else. How about that guy? No, 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 Reginald. He was on his Reginald. phone. No, Reginald. His wife Reginald. agrees. We are not going to have one of our guests. Wash your feet. Okay, fine. I How about the guarantee. camera person? Oh, hey, no. what about that nerd that was out earlier? No, no, Someone listen. bring me the nerd. Hey, Reginald, hey, Reginald. Wait. Here's the, 
<laughs> Here's the problem. I'm trying to deal with a crazy monkey. Yes, What's I going? see. It's that's fine. That's fine. But you're the most unimportant person. So hey, no, no, we're gonna no, have no, you no, sit no, here. No, no. Okay. I'll bring out another chair, and you can wash my feet. No, 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 no. Reginald, what? that's not what happened in our story. But it's that, historical. It is historical, but let Context. me read to you. <laughs> yes, but Jesus came to change things. So let me just read to you One moment. what happened, okay? He poured water into a large bowl. I have that. Then he began to wash his disciples' feet. He? He him? No. What do you mean? No, not he. The nerd? No. Jesus was the most important person in the room, right? And, and, and he, that was Jesus. Jesus was washing, Jesus was washing the disciples' feet. feet. So since you felt like you were the most important person in Did this room. Did I say room, that? I don't think, um, okay, yes, that's fine. So. Uh, washing the feet then, okay, yes, I'll, I'll just. That's one, one moment, I have to prepare one thing, sorry. Yeah, we don't have Keep to. Keep reading. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, while, while Jesus was talking, he told the disciples this. He said, I, your Lord and Savior, have washed your feet, so you should also wash one another's feet. I've given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. Now, the disciples were amazed as well because this kind of thing had never happened before sure. to them. They would never expect Jesus to wash their feet. And one of the disciples even said this. This was Peter. He said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And then he said, no, no, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash your feet, you can't share life with me. Jesus was explaining that this was a way that he was showing humility, and he wanted his disciples to show humility as well. Okay, okay, I think I'm ready. Yes, so, so You're the washing ready? of the feet. Yes, We're ready? Um, uh, Gordo, if you would like on. to simply remove your feet, uh, don't remove My your feet? shoes from your feet, and um, be I... yourself. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have to? What? Yes, it's fine, I shall wash your... I'm not... Oh. Hold on one moment. Okay. Wash your feet. Okay, Reginald, Reginald. I'm gonna wash. Reginald. I'm gonna wash it. This is getting I'm a bit mom. awkward, and uh, I, I don't really think Gordo wants you to wash Amen. his feet anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna All go right. back to what I was All doing. All right, uh, yeah. So, well, so you're saying? So what I'm saying is, uh, we we accept your your efforts, Reginald, yes. and and. Your effort to be humble is showing that you were trying to be like Jesus, just like he said here in the Bible. He said, I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, so you should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. An example. An example. Jesus. Very, very well read. I don't know what it means, but you read it very well. Well, what Jesus was saying was even though everyone expected him to be the most important and to sit and have his feet washed, yes. he chose to be humble and show his disciples how much he loved them by washing their feet. I see. Wow. Well, normally this is where I would take a bow, but I suppose um, uh, instead we should give the applause to our storyteller, Debbie. Well... Yes, indeed. That's very nice of you, Reginald, and, and quite unexpected. And well, it's just you really taught me that, well, humility is putting others first, and we don't serve others to show off how important we are, but rather to show them how much God loves them. That is exactly right. You've got it, Reginald. Well, as a matter of fact, I think you should take another bow. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank exactly. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is all. Yes, I'll see you upon the golf course. Oh, Reginald. Farewell. And Peter Spain. What would my story be without him, huh? <laughs> well, we do want to follow Jesus' example. And tonight, 18 children are following Jesus' example by becoming baptized tonight. So it's time right now for those kids to go ahead and stand up and follow Miss Erica. You're going to go out the side door right over here as I just finish up a couple of things with our story. We're looking forward to that watermark. You know, when Jesus came to this earth, he was the King of Kings. He was the Lord of Lords. He was our Savior. And yet Jesus chose to be humble and to serve others, serve others so much to serve each and every one of us by going to the cross to pay for our sins. And when we follow what Jesus' example was, 
we can show others just how, how amazing God is. Now, I wanna go back. I know you guys got a chance to hear this memory verse a little bit earlier, but this is the verse we're gonna focus on all the month of April as we talk about humility. And this is in the book of Philippians chapter two. The Bible says, don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble, value others, more than yourself. And hopefully that's what we're going to be learning all throughout the month. So I'm gonna pray right now, and I'd like you to bow your heads and pray with me that God will help us learn these lessons and, and go forward for him. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this story about Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Thank you that it teaches us that we can follow Jesus' example and put others ahead of ourselves. And when we do, that's a way that we honor you and show others how amazing you are. I pray that you would teach each and every one of us that truth for our own selves so that we may learn it and may follow you with all our lives. And we'll thank you and praise you for all you're going to do. And all God's children said, amen. amen. Thank you guys. Baptism is a way Christ followers go public with their faith. By being lowered completely under the water and raised back up to their feet, they're identifying with Jesus, sharing that because of his sacrifice, the old person is dead and buried, and now they're a new person, alive in Christ. Baptism is a visible symbol of an invisible commitment. It doesn't create a new relationship, but announces one that's already there. It's a visible symbol of a Christ follower's commitment to Jesus. Celebrate with us as we watch this expression of faith. My name is Court Harmon and I'm seven years old. My favorite thing about Kids World is we get to learn more about God and Jesus. Me and my mom last year after Jingle Jam prayed and I accepted Jesus into my heart. Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins and three days later he came back and showed he was the son of God. I'm getting baptized to show people they can be a follower of Christ too. I want to thank my mom, my daddy, Tone, and my dad and my mama, Rachel, and my, the rest of my family for teaching me that I can go to church and learn more about God. Well, that is awesome. Well, we are so excited for these kids and for their faith. And, uh, and uh, this is a celebration. We're right behind that LED wall so the kids can hear you. So man, make some noise for these guys as they go public with their faith. But Court, we're so proud of you and we're proud of the testimony you've shared with us. And it's because you have shared your testimony in Jesus. It's my joy to baptize you tonight as my brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. My name is Kinsley and I'm nine years old. I was eight years old and I was driving to school with my dad and he said, do you wanna get baptized and ask Jesus into your heart? And he was like, yeah. So we prayed about it and now it's happening. God is kind, amazing. He never talked back to his parents and he died on a cross to save our sins. I'm getting baptized because I want to show people that um, I'm a believer of Jesus. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, my grandma and grandpa, my auntie and uncle, and my cousin Harper for reading the Bible to me and talking about Jesus with me all the time and going to church with me a lot. My favorite part of Kids World is worshiping. My favorite song, personally, is Good God Almighty, and I love the Church Cafe and Mr. Cody. That is awesome, Kinsley. We are so encouraged by your testimony. Kinsley was just telling me her teacher got to come tonight, which is great. That's awesome. We love it when teachers can come. But Kinsley, it's because uh, you put your faith in Jesus and share that testimony publicly. It's my joy to baptize you as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
My name is Lydia Anderson and I'm eight years old. My mom read me stories of Jesus when I was in kindergarten. My mom read me Christmas stories out of her Advent devotional. My mom explained to me how Jesus came to earth as a baby. I needed God to save me from my sin. I believe that and I invited Jesus in my heart to save me from my sin. When I heard the Christmas story, I believe that he was born. I also believe he died on the cross and rose again. He did this for everyone's sin, even mine. Jesus is God. He came because he wanted to wash away our sins. Jesus has helped me through hard times. He helped me through my surgery. He helped me when I'm sad or scared. He makes me really happy to praise him. My friends don't want to sit next to me and shovel because I praise God too loud. Jesus is changing my heart to turn away from sin. I like to spend time with him when I'm praising or praying. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and Seth because they told me about Jesus. My teachers at Trinity helped me a lot too. Mrs. Brands, Mrs. Island, and Mrs. Goodwin. My favorite thing about Kids World is my friends and it's right next to school. I'm getting baptized to show I'm a follower of Jesus. Wow, what an awesome testimony, Lydia. That is so cool. It is, it's awesome that you want to show others that you put your faith in Jesus, and it's, and it's because you put your faith in Jesus. It's my joy to baptize you tonight as my sister in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Jackson. I'm six. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Jesus rose again. I accepted Jesus on Christmas Eve. I was with my mommy and dad. I prayed with Pastor Mark. I want to be baptized because I want to show everybody Jesus is my best friend. I want to thank my brothers and sisters, my mom and dad, my grandma and grandpa. Well, Jackson, it, it, was, it was a joy to get to hear your testimony. And um, Mr. Cody interviews most of our kids. I got to interview Jackson for his testimony. And Jackson, that was really awesome. But it's really cool to have you here after professing your faith in Jesus, now going public with baptism. And so because you put your faith in Jesus, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my brother in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm Madison Beeman and I'm eight years old. I accepted Jesus when my car broke down and that was the first time that I prayed to Jesus by myself. I know God is a miracle worker and I know he never breaks promises. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and after three days he rose back from the dead. I want to get baptized because I want to show everyone I believe in God. I want to thank my school, Trinity Academy, and my teachers for helping me believe in Jesus. Um, my favorite thing about Kids World is that they make sure you have fun and they play funny jokes, and they don't let anybody bully you. Addison, that is so sweet. It is so, so sweet to hear your testimony. And uh, we're, we're excited to see what God does with your life. And uh, it's because you put your faith in Jesus, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm Preston, I'm nine years old. My dad was reading my Bible to me one night in my bed and he told me about um, Jesus and how he died on the cross and saved our sins. And that night I prayed and accepted him. I know that Jesus died on the cross and saved our sins and rose three days later. I'm getting baptized to show other people that um, I accepted Jesus in my heart. I would like to thank my, my mom and dad for helping me learn about Jesus. My favorite thing about Kids World is the funny so-and-so videos that help tell about the Bible. That's awesome, Preston. We like those so-and-so videos, but 
Man, it's, it's so cool to hear how you put your personal faith in what Jesus did for you on the cross and that he rose from the dead and it's because you put your faith in him. It's my joy to baptize you tonight as my brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am Mackenzie and I'm seven years old. Last summer I was in my room with my mom. We were praying and I accepted Christ. I know that Jesus is the light of the world and he died on the trust to save our sins. I'm getting baptized because I believe in Jesus and other people to get baptized too. I want to thank my mom and my dad and Mimi Tenny and Papa Bob and Papa and Grandma Liza for helping me learn about Jesus Christ. My favorite part about his world is that the dames in the play area and learning about Jesus. That's awesome. That's great, that's great. Yes, yeah, give it up for Mackenzie. She's just telling me about all the family and friends she's got here. And uh, it's because of your faith that you've put in Jesus in front of your family and friends that it's our joy to baptize you tonight as our sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Landon Sargent and I am 12 years old. I accepted Christ when I was seven years old. My family and I went to the Indo Stadium in Anaheim, California to attend the Harvest Crusade. Someone got on stage and talked about Jesus. At the end of his talk, he gave us an opportunity to pray and accept Jesus, and I did. I had prayed that prayer before, but this time I felt different. Since accepting Christ, I have met them in hard times. I lost my favorite dogs, and my parents got a divorce. But through all of that, I found I'm able to rely on Jesus more. He is there with me no matter what I'm going through. I would like to thank my mom, dad, Mimiteni, Habab, and Aaron, my small group leader. I like to be baptized to show others that Christ is my savior and that they should follow him too. Ooh, man, that is awesome. Isn't that a great testimony? Landon, it is, it's just awesome to see young men putting their faith in Jesus as their personal savior. And it's because you've done that tonight. It's my joy to baptize you as my brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Lizzie Mahana and I am eight years old. I accepted Christ February 2021 when I was six. But that day, I asked my dad I wanted to pray. He said to get my mom. I got my mom and she said we could pray. We prayed and thanked God about loving us and paying for our sins on the cross. And then we went to get me a Bible. That night we read my Bible. I want to be baptized to show the world that I am a Christ follower. I'd like to thank my small group leader, Tammy Page, Chris Goss, and all the other people who helped make Kids World possible. My favorite part about Kids World is how they're so creative, and the Bible verse goes perfectly with the big idea. I like to read in the reading area and go to small group. Well, every yes, thank you. Every, every baptism is very special, but this one is very personal to Sarah and I. This is my daughter, Lizzie, my oldest. And um, we are excited. And um, just as a dad, I, I have to say, I'm just so grateful for a church that uh, from Baby Bay to Adventure Avenue to 252 has invested in our kids and partnered with us as parents. And um, it has been a joy to be your dad and to continue to be your dad. But tonight, it's my privilege to baptize you as my sister because of your personal faith that you put in Jesus. It's my joy to baptize you tonight in the, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, we have nine more kids that are gonna go public with their faith, but uh, we think it's just so important what God is doing here that we need to stop and celebrate. Uh, amen, right? Isn't it awesome to hear those testimonies and see what God is doing in the hearts of the next generation? And so would you join the worship team as we sing and then we'll be back for nine more kids as they go public with their faith. Well, we are so excited to watch these kids declare their love for Jesus, but now I wanna invite you all to stand and let's worship together.
excited to celebrate nine more kids as they go public with their faith through baptism so I invite you to check out the screens my name is Samuel Morgan and I am nine years old so I one day we went to a living nativity scene and at the very end he said pray with me if you want to accept Jesus in, into your heart and I did and he gave me a Bible I know that Jesus died on the cross to save our sins and that he has, has not sinned one time. I'm getting baptized because I want to go public and show everybody that I am a Christian. I would like to thank my mom and my dad and I would like to thank them for just praying every night and morning. My favorite thing about Kids World is having fun and just learning about Jesus Christ. Man, that is awesome, Sam. It is awesome to hear your testimony. You know, I was telling Sam, uh, Sam uh, and so many of the kids are getting baptized tonight. Their parents serve. And, and what I love about that, you know, Kids World really believes that the parents are the spiritual leader in the home and we want to partner with them. And so it's so cool to see your parents doing that with you, but then also to come back and, and help set the table for other kids and families. And, and uh, it's just such an encouragement. But Sam, it's, uh, it's because of your personal faith that we're here right now. And so I'm, I'm just so proud of you. We're excited for you. And it's because you put your faith in Jesus. It's my joy to baptize you as my brother. Brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Maylee Blazy, and I am seven years old. I accepted Jesus when I was five years old, and I was in the room, my room with my dad, and I said I, I didn't know what to say, so I said, can I accept Jesus into my heart? I know about Jesus because he's the one that died on the cross for our sins so that we can go to heaven one day. I wanna thank my Gigi, my grandma, and my mom and dad, and Mr. Cody for helping me learn about Jesus. My favorite thing about Kids World is when Mr. Jesse tells the Bible stories. I wanna be baptized to show the whole world I love Jesus. That is awesome, that is awesome, Maylee. Well, it's because of your love for Jesus and you put your faith in him that we're uh, doing this tonight. And so it's my joy to baptize you as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Colin and I'm eight. One night I saw kids getting baptized I started asking questions to my mom and dad about God. I did a workbook with my mom and dad. I prayed to make Jesus my best friend. I'm getting baptized so people know Jesus is my best friend. I like seeing my friends and kids or I want to thank mom and dad. I hope to meet all of you in Jesus. Kellen, that is awesome. It is awesome to hear your testimony of 
Uh, you put your personal faith in Jesus for what he did for you on the cross. And so it's because of that, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Jocelyn and I am six. I saw other kids getting baptized at Kids World FX. After that, I decided to be Jesus' best friend forever. I know that Jesus' love never ends. He died on the cross to pay for my sins. And three days later, he came back to life. I want to get baptized so people know I believe in Jesus. I want to thank my mom and dad for helping me know about Jesus. My favorite thing about Kids World is seeing my friends and teacher, Miss Megan, a lot. Well, that is awesome. We love that. And uh, man, I know your your all of your Kids World teachers are so excited for you. You know, so much of what you see here tonight is is uh, countless hours just invested by volunteers and the Holy Spirit using those to move in the life of a kid. And Jocelyn, we know that's true for you. And so it's because you have put your personal faith in Jesus. It's our joy to baptize you tonight as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hi, my name is Katie and I'm 10 years old. I accepted Jesus one day at my house when I prayed with my mom to open my heart to him. I know that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. I'd like to thank my mom because she always pushes us to go to church. My favorite thing about Kids World is the lessons and slides. I want to get baptized to show other people that I want to open my heart to Jesus. Katie, it is awesome. I remember talking to you and just hearing about your faith when you put your faith in Jesus. And so uh, because you put your faith in Jesus, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Malachi and I'm six years old. I accepted Jesus after church and I prayed with my mom and dad for Jesus to come live inside my heart. I know that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he loves us very much. I want to thank Mr. Cody and my family for helping me learn about Jesus. My favorite thing about Kids World is how they work hard to help us learn about Jesus. I decided to be baptized because I want people to know that I love him, that I love Jesus. That is awesome, Malachi. It is because of that love for Jesus. You putting it in your, your trust in him. Uh, personally, that's my joy to baptize you tonight as my brother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm Elise Travacek and I'm six years old. My sister just believed in Jesus and she just got baptized with my mom. After she got baptized, she read the Bible to me. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I know that Jesus uh, paid for my punishment. I want to thank my mom and my dad and my sister for, for letting me know about God. I'm getting baptized because Jesus got baptized and I just want to be just like him. My favorite part about Kids World is learning about Jesus. Well, Elise, we're so glad you were able to learn about Jesus so you could Put your faith and your trust in him. And because you've done that, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm Amira and I'm nine and a half years old. I accepted Christ during Christmas. I um, raised my hand and got a book to learn more about Jesus. What I know about Jesus is He's our Savior and He's perfect. 
I like to thank、um, my parents, my grandma, and the people that work at Kids World to help me l- learn more about Jesus. One of my favorite things about Kids World is the music, games, and learning about Jesus. I want to get baptized because I want to show the whole world that I believe in Jesus and He's our Savior. Well, Amira, that is awesome. And it is so great to hear you sharing your testimony. You know, there might be someone in this room that, that needs to know that they can put their faith in Jesus just like you have. And so it's because you put your faith in Jesus, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my sister. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Alex and I'm seven years old. I accepted Christ when I was seven. It was near Christmas Eve. I was at church and I was praying, and that was the day I accepted Jesus as my Savior. I know that Jesus is our Savior and that we should put all our heart into Him. I want to thank、uh, the people who teach Kids World my mom, my dad, and my family. My favorite thing about Kids World is、uh, reading about Jesus and reading the Bible. The reason I want to get baptized is because Jesus did something for us, and I want to show others that He is my Savior. Well, that is awesome, Alex. It's so. It's awesome that, you know, as Jesus has done something for you, you were doing this for him and in obedience to him. And、uh, it's because you put your faith in Jesus, it's my joy to baptize you tonight as my brother. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Man, one more time, can we make some noise for all these kids that have gone public with their faith? Praise God. And I, I, you know,、uh, we, have, we have such great crowds at FX, but I, I know in an audience this size, there might be someone here that doesn't have a church home. And we just want you to know if you don't have a church home, we would love to、uh, have your kids、uh, to, to come check out our environment. It's the fun that we had here on stage today. We have every single weekend. And of course, as you can see through the students' uh, um, testimonies, uh, We, we preach Jesus every week. And so we would love for you to come and just check it out. But if you've never been, you might not know what to expect. So we made a video for those of you in the audience or those of you watching online that might need a place to come bring your kids. We would love to see you this weekend. Are you thinking of bringing your child to Kids World for the first time? Here's everything you need to know to get started. We work hard to create fun and engaging environments for kids from birth through fifth grade that are open during all of our weekend services. Our goal is to make Kids World the best hour of your kids' week. So we go all out to present God to your kids in a way that ignites their imagination and inspires action. There are a few ways we help kids learn about God. The first is through large group teaching led by dedicated staff and well trained volunteers. This time includes music, skits, games, and more. Then your child is given the opportunity to be in a small group where they'll sit with kids their own age and talk about a God who loves them and gave his life for them. You can prepare for your first visit to Kids World by creating a KidCheck account for your family at newspring.orgslash kidcheck or by downloading the KidCheck app on your mobile device before you arrive. Then you'll be ready for secure check in for your kids. Be sure to arrive a little early for the service you're planning to attend. Our Kids World environments open 25 minutes before the service begins. Just stop at one of our New Spring Info Centers or let a guest services volunteer know that you're visiting for the first time and they'll show you exactly where to go and help you navigate through our friendly and secure check in process. Also, feel free to bring a friend with you when you visit. We love making new friends here. And there you go. That's all you need to know about your first visit to Kids World. We hope to see you soon. Hey, FX family! Have no fear. I was able to keep Artie away from that box. I got it back for a moment. And I designed my own guard robot, you know, to keep watch while he's out and about. Huh? Check this bad boy out, right? I just used、hey, some of the old、uh, Gordo. Easter decorations Gordo. we have. Gordo. Gordo.、Well, oh, hey. What is it, Dan? What is all this? This is what I call the Egg Salt Soldier, huh? It, it, this bad boy is a guard robot. 
And so is this what you built to make sure Artie didn't get the box? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, See, well, I just used some of the old Easter decorations and made use of some of the uh, Easter eggs that we had for the big hunt. These bad boys I call the Shell Shockers. If Artie gets anywhere near that box, I promise you we will just pelt him with Easter eggs. Uh, okay. Now, we're not going to do that. Oh, come on. Don't no. you at least want to see a demonstration? Do you guys want to see the robot work? Huh? Okay. 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 I'll stand back. Just Yeah, you're going to want to stand back. I'm just going to okay. set the aim there. Tweak a few it's dials. And anything. okay, here we go. And fire. Hey! Whoa. Hey, look out, camera guy. Uh, pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, right at the camera guy. Yeah. Well, uh, have you seen Artie? No, no, I've been just making sure that he uh, doesn't you know, really get in here. Because I uh, really need to talk to you both. Both of us? Yes. Oh, that's probably, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So where, where's Artie at? Anybody see Artie? That? What is that? Hey, Soul Soldier! Artie, Time to what scramble. are you doing? Grab Come the down here! Grab the yeah. What? yeah. Artie? Fire! Are you all right? <coughs> oh, safety zone. You know what? You know what? Go back to base. Back to base. You can. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm okay, but man, that was rough. Uh, what happened up there, guys? I was supposed to drop smoothly right in front of the box. Yeah. All right, Artie, uh, we got to have a conversation. Well, yeah, we do have to have a conversation, Mr. Dan. I'm glad you're here. You need to set Gordo straight. Hey. Yeah, so in fact, could you just move me away from that guy? I don't even think I want to be by him. What's, just push me, push me. Why would I push you away from me? Well, to be honest, I was afraid something else was going to fall on me. Oh, so that's probably a good actually, idea. Would you just push me that way a little bit? That'd be great. Okay. Listen, listen, Mr. Dan, Gordo, Gordo, you got to talk to Gordo. He hasn't been humble at all. He thinks that special box that was backstage is for him. Well, uh, uh, Artie, here's the deal. I, I try to tell him that you got it for me because I'm no. super special. Artie, like it would be for Artie, you. Hey, I box. told him that I deserve it. Yeah, I know. Uh, are you listening to me? Yes. Okay. Pay wow. close attention. Your breath kind of smells. Okay. All right. Artie, I'm going to Did you have a bag listen. of Cheetos before no, you came no, out here? No, Artie, Artie, you need to focus. I'm focused. Focus. Okay. Look how focused All right. I Can you back up just a little? Yes. Oh, okay. Oops. Just come this way a little. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me, can I whisper something in your ear? Yes. I don't want to really embarrass you in front oh. of a live audience. Oh, sure. That box is not for you. That's right. You got Gordo a box? Yeah. I can't believe no, it. No, 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 Artie, 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 Artie. Uh, Artie. What? I'm it, heartbroken. No, oh, listen. Can't believe you would get Gordo a box. Okay. Just uh, look at Artie, him. Artie, Artie. Yeah, they got me. Uh, Gordo, the box is not for you either. What? It's not for... Mr. Dan, you got yourself a box. Uh. No, no. No. How it, rude. It, it, no, it's not. Artie, can, uh, can you grab that box? Uh, it's not for me either. Well, who's the box for, Mr. D? Huh? In yeah. fact, th this box and many boxes like this one uh, are not for anybody in the room. What do you mean it's not for anybody in the room? It says to someone special, we got to give it away, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. And so what we want families to do, we're going to give each family here a box to take home with them. You just said it wasn't for anybody in the room, Mr. Dean. You're not making any sense. Well, what we want to do is before we leave, we're going to hand out a box to every family in the room. Okay. Just one. Just one. Okay. And we want them to pray over this box. And then we want them to invite someone to Easter because there's a treasure map inside. And we want them to come back the Wednesday before Easter for a fun treasure hunt here at New Spring uh -huh. Church. That sounds amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. You're saying there's a whole family night of fun in that yes. box? You want to see what's inside the of box? Of course I want to see what's yeah. inside. What do we got? So there's right here. Go to look at that. It says somebody oh, chose to put you first because we're learning about what, Artie? Well, uh, humidity. No, not humidity. Gordo, what are we learning about? Humility. Yeah, and what's the, the definition? I know the, I know the definition. Okay, let's hear it. What? <laughs> Putting others first. Putting uh, others first. By, by giving up what you, you think, think you, you deserve. deserve. Both of you both, you thought, both of you deserve this. So, yeah, a family will get this inside. There's some cool stickers. There's a family night, a uh, fun oh, night packet for pictures. 
Uh, there's a treasure hunt man at the bottom. There's a bag of cookie mix so they can make cookies. Uh, there's a crown in here. And what we want them to do with the crown is that each person will wear the crown in the family and they get to pick their favorite activity to do as a family. But, so but, they're like king for a day. Yes. But Mr. Dan, you're saying that they're, the box is going to go home with the families, but they're not going to open it. You're going to use the box to invite somebody else. That's right. There's by a, putting them first and practicing humility. Yeah, they'll actually wow. be a sticker across the front. You guys are so says, humble. Yeah. <laughs> Gordon, just, there's going to be a sticker across the front that seals the box. Oh, yeah. Oh. So they can't open it. All now, right. parents, they can't open they it. They can't open it. You can't open parents, it. Parents, you, you, you dad back there. You can't open it. He was on his phone. You didn't say yeah, it again. I, I saw that. <laughs> this is to give away to someone to invite him back for Easter. Now, oh, that would be amazing. Gordo, or that for me. Well, okay. but Mr. Dan, I feel like I owe Gordo an apology. I mean, uh, here, Mr. Dan knows all these kids can think about others and put them first. And I'm sorry, I, I lost sight of that. I, yeah. I really do think you're pretty awesome. You're uh, so smart. Thanks. You know, I I kind of got swept up all of it too. I should apologize. I mean, I think you're pretty funny. Well, Mr. Dan, we're going to be so humble, we, we don't need anything. Don't worry about yeah. taking us out for ice cream after, or, or yeah. you don't even have to put a mint in before you talk to me. Okay. That's well, how thanks. much I'm okay with you not putting me first. Okay. Because well, I'm humble. There's more. There's more. I don't now, need anything. What, what, as you leave, uh, we're going to ask the people to come in with the boxes now. Yeah. And so we just need an adult to be the adult in the room and get one box from our lovely people that one are adult. passing one these out. One family. Now, here's the thing. Even if you don't have kids with you, and you're a grandparent, we want you to take a box because we want you to invite somebody to come to Easter. Yes. But now for all the families that are here, yes. as you leave, we're gonna give you an awesome treasure map as well because oh. we want you to come back and there's fun things for you to do so every family will get one of these as you walk out the door. Wow! But what we're delivering now is the boxes for, for the people. families to give away and to not invite. to open. So you're saying uh, by practicing humility, uh, they're still going to get something cool for themselves, but the, the box are going to give away. That's right. Well, that's great, Mr. Dan. It's like, uh, it's like a little blessing for being humble. That's <laughs> right. So here's what I need everybody to do as you get your boxes. I need everybody to raise your right hand. Kids, can you raise your right hand? I've got my hand raised. And repeat after me. I promise. I, I promise. promise. Not to whine. Not, not to whine. whine. And beg. And, and beg. beg. To my parents. To my, to my parents. parents. To open up the box. To open, open up, up the box. box. I promise. I promise. To give it away to somebody. To give, give it, it away, away to somebody. somebody. That needs to come to church. That needs, needs to, to come, come to, church. to church. And learn about Jesus. And learn, and learn about, about Jesus. Jesus. And have fun at church. And have, and have fun, fun at church. church. Because we want more people. Because we, we want, want more people. people. To come to church. To come to church. I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. Where? All right. Well, yeah. Now, a couple other things really, really quick. Yep. And, Mr. Dan, this is fun. I like putting others first. Yeah, it's <laughs> great. This Saturday, which is tomorrow from 9 to noon, yeah. we are celebrating five years of Baby Babe being open. And so wow. we have a free uh, photo shoot. You can clap for that. Yeah. We have a free mini photo shoot for baby zero through two. Ooh. And you can sign up at newspring.org slash mini sessions. Or just show up uh, right over here at Baby Bay. Do all some snacks. Take some really cute pictures of your babies to celebrate five years of Baby Bay. Yeah, and they can invite people to that too, right, Mr. Dan? That's right. Because people with new babies need prayer and they need a church. <laughs> That's right. So you better invite somebody. Well, I see by the clock on the wall, Artie, it's time for us to go. Yes. Yeah. So thanks for being here. You are dismissed. Don't forget to get your bags on your way out and give those boxes away to someone that doesn't go to church. Pray over them tonight as you drive home. Talk about who you should invite and have a great time with that. Thank you for being here. See you later.